My name is Tyler Webb. I'm the resident director here at Martin Hall. I'll be going into my third year here at Williamsburg University. I also am a grad student here um, in the counseling program. I'll be heading into my second year of that, graduating in May of 2021. Uh, my wife, Lindsay, and I live here in Martin Hall. Our apartment is on the third floor. Uh, we just love living with students, uh, getting to be around them, uh, living with you um, in the day-to-day -day life. Uh, we, we do it right alongside of you. Uh, from the Harrisburg area, originally uh, went to college at Grove City, uh, a couple of hours north of here, um, and have really enjoyed uh, my time at Waynesburg. Uh, huge sports fan, uh, love the Steelers, the Phillies. Unfortunately, I'm a Phoenix Suns fan, uh, but I do enjoy uh, watching any kind of sport. Uh, Lindsay and I like to be active, uh, we both enjoy working out, going on walks. Um, we'd love to do that in order to do our favorite thing, which is going out to eat. Uh, we're big fans of going down to Morgantown or up to Washington or Pittsburgh uh, to grab a bite to eat. So that's a little bit more about me. This here is Martin Hall. Uh, Martin Hall is a building that houses uh, first year students and returning students. We have five floors that has about 180 students. Uh, one of the ways that you can get into Martin, there's two entrances on top here. Uh, they go into the third floor. Um, and we also have an entrance down on the first floor um, that goes back into the parking lot where students can park their cars. Uh, there's also some parking up here uh, where students can park as well. Uh, some of the cool features about Martin, uh, we have two lounges, uh, one for uh, more of a hangout space and then one for more of a study space, uh, which we'll show you in a little bit. All right, let's go inside and check out Martin Hall. So when you enter the building, You'll need to make sure that you have your student ID. That's what will be able to get you into the building. Uh, your student ID will also be able to get you into your room, which we'll show you later. So just put it right in here, door will unlock, and then we go. Here we are in Martin's third floor lounge. Uh, the lounge was newly renovated uh, this summer, along with our second floor lounge, which we'll show you. Uh, this is such a, a seating area. A lot of times students will come in here um, and watch some sports games or, or just hang out together um, in this area over here. Um, over here we have some high top tables. A lot of students have to use those for studying and for hanging out. Uh, and then we have our kitchen area. Uh, students can use the kitchen to, to provide their own meals. A lot of students like to cook um, breakfast on Saturdays, you're just uh, making their own food, and they have that option there. The fridge is uh, for everybody, and you can put your food in there as well. Here we are at the laundry facility in Martin Hall. Uh, it's located here on the third floor. Uh, it tends to be the hub of the third floor with lots of students coming and doing their laundry. Uh, as you can see, we have four washers and four dryers for students to use uh, for their laundry. Uh, really cool, we have the capability of using an app to do your laundry, so you can do everything right on the app. You can upload money to it, uh, you can come up to the, the, the device and you can scan the device and it will start the machine. Uh, and then you can go back to the app and check to see when your laundry is done and it can notify you uh, when it's time to go and get your laundry and maybe to move it over to, to drying or to uh, complete it. Um, really nice feature. Uh, students can also upload it on a card if they want and they can put money on a card um, and, and, and use that on the machine as well. Um, wash is $1.75 per load and it's $1.50 uh, per uh, dryer. Here we are in Martin's second floor lounge. Now this lounge is known as the study lounge. A lot of students will come down here and study as we have a lot of tables down here uh, for students to study at. Um, there's a nice quiet spot uh, where students can study. But students do like to take breaks and we do have our ping pong table down here. Uh, a lot of students will take a break from the books um, and they come and play some viewers games of ping pong. Uh, Martin Hall is known for our golden paddle tournament that we have every year. It's a huge ping pong tournament and a lot of uh, residents of Martin Hall participate. And if you win, you get to sign a golden paddle uh, and you go down in history as one of the greatest ping pong players ever at Wayne's Green. Let's explore Martin a little more here. So this is my apartment. This is where my wife and I live. Uh, so if you ever need anything from me, uh, you know where you, you can find us. Uh, 318 is where you can find my wife or I. 
Here we have the infamous Golden Paddle, which I was talking about. If you win the Golden Paddle tournament, you get to sign your name on the infamous Golden Paddle that stays here. This is also a spot where you can tell who's on duty. Um, if you have an issue um, at the, in the evening, you can either find one of the RAs who's on duty or find myself and other contact numbers and things are there as well. So let's go check out the room. So like I said earlier, you're gonna need your student ID in order to get into the room. Only your ID and your, your roommate's ID will work to get into the room, and your ID doesn't work anywhere else for any of the other rooms, only to your room. So let's go on in. So here we are in a typical room in Martin Hall. Uh, so most of these rooms are doubles, so two residents per room. Uh, each room comes with a desk, a, ch a chair, a bed, and a wardrobe for each student. Um, here's our wardrobes here. Um, as you can see, they need to open up. Uh, there's space for hanging stuff, um, so students can hang up their clothes in there. There's also some drawers where students can uh, put clothes as well. Uh, there's a mirror so you can make sure you look good getting ready for the day. Uh, a lot of students will also put a fridge um, in, the, in this side of the closet, um, which can save them some space, so that's a nice little trick to know. Uh, the beds can be bunked, um, so some students like to bunk their beds. It saves some space um, in the room, and they can put other things in the room that way. Um, but some students also keep the beds kind of as they are, so it's up to you and kind of how you want to do that. And then the desks, so uh, each desk has uh, three drawers that students can use um, to put their belongings in there. Um, they come with these nifty stands uh, to put things on top of them as well. Um, and they each have lights built in. Uh, so if you have to stay up late to write a paper, you can do that on your desk. So also, while all of our buildings on campus do have wireless internet, uh, we also do provide wired connection here. Uh, and there is also a cable connection that's offered too. So every room has a cable connection and an internet connection that students can use uh, to utilize um, watching cable to get some good TV shows in, or if they want to uh, hook up an Xbox or a PlayStation, they can do that as well.